How's it going, guys? Quarantine day nine for me. Hopefully you are far ahead of where I'm at. Uh, I'm looking forward to someday grocery shopping in the near future, but want to fulfill these 14 days. Uh, saltines are getting pretty old by this point. Um, you can only live so long on saltines. That's not true. I have bran flakes. Mmm. Delicious. So later today, well, when this podcast comes up, there's a topic on there that I think is highly relevant to a lot of different people. You may have heard about certain pastors that don't want to close the doors to their church because of uh, what they think takes place in their church services that can't take place in any other way. So the Louisiana pastor that got arrested, he said that we have a biblical mandate to lay our hands in prayer on others. And he believes that this power of God translates through his hands onto these other believers. And he said, if anyone gets coronavirus, I'll just lay my hands on them and heal them. All right. So, so God's method of working only takes place through this man physically laying his hands on other people. But I think they're neglecting a very significant story from the Gospels. And... It's the story where a centurion approaches Jesus. Jesus is healing people left and right. The centurion comes up to him and says, Lord, I have this servant. He's, he's paralyzed. He's on a deathbed. And Jesus says, I will come and heal him. But the centurion pauses and says, I am not even worthy to have you come under my roof. But just say the word and my servant will be healed. And he compared his own life, his own authority to the authority of Jesus, saying, I'm a person that has a lot of people under me. I say to one person what to do, and he does it. So I understand what authority means, Jesus, and I understand that you have authority like that. You can command, and it is done by others who can go in your stead. So Jesus says, I have not found such great faith in all of Israel. Your servants healed. Other servants of this centurion came up to him and approached him and say, Your servants healed. The very moment that Jesus said, Your servants healed, he was healed. But why did Jesus marvel at his faith? Because this man believed that God could intervene from a distance. That Jesus didn't have to be physically present, physically laying his hands on a person in order for him to intervene. And perhaps Jesus already knew at that point that he would be withdrawn from the earth and the Holy Spirit would be that which is the, the intercessor for the people. And here we are doing online communication, online church by and large, and online chats with friends, and we're left wondering, is this as effective anymore? Are we missing something? And yes, physical proximity is awesome. But as we are being faithful... I trust God is intervening in these situations, even if we're stuck doing online church. In fact, maybe Jesus can marvel at our faith by believing that though we're at a distance from those we want to impact, that through our prayers and through our trust in Him, by His authority, He still impacts them just the same. Maybe He'll marvel at our faith as we endure the coronavirus together, as we learn to reach out and learn to pray at a distance, to share scripture at a distance, to encourage one another at a distance. I think Jesus can do all the same things. And as we remain faithful to him, he will prove his faithfulness in us, through us, to us. So, Catch the podcast later today. It's going to cover that issue and more on the topic of viruses and also talk about how a good creator could also create something like viruses. It's, it's pretty amazing. I've been learning a lot about it lately. So check that out, and I will catch up with you in the near future, friends. God bless.